Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rocks Garage. I'm your host, Dan, and on today's episode, we're going to be installing part number SEAT-421 on an old-style club car DS. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at everything that comes in the kit and the tools we're going to need to perform the installation. So when you first open up your kit, you're going to find your seat back and your seat bottom cushions. And then after that, you're going to have your foot frame. And after your foot frame, you're going to have your foot plate. And then after your foot plate, you're going to have your horizontal support, as well as your two handrails and foot plate brackets. And then finally, we have our two front seat back brackets, our two rear seat back brackets, our flip frame support bracket, our two vertical supports, our seat bottom handle, and finally, our box of hardware. Now that we've taken a look at everything that comes in the kit, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need for the installation. First up, we have a cordless drill with a 27 64th drill bit. We have a small drill bit for drilling pilot holes. We have a socket wrench with a 10 millimeter, 7 16 half inch, 13 millimeter, and 11 16 sockets. We also have a 10 millimeter, 7 16 half inch, 13 millimeter, and 11 16 open-ended wrench. We have a normal Phillips head screwdriver, and we have a stubby Phillips head screwdriver. We have a couple of clamps, and of course, some safety glasses. Now, as always, before we get started, we just want to make sure that we set our parking brake, turn our cart off, and if you have an electric cart, we're going to flip the tow run switch to the tow position. Once all that's done, we can go ahead and begin by removing the rear top struts, but first we want to make sure that we put some kind of prop rod underneath the top so it doesn't fall down on our head. Now that our top struts are removed, we can go ahead and remove our front seat back cushions. Now that our front seat back cushions are removed, and before we remove our sweater basket, we need to first remove our access panel. Once that access panel is off, we can get to all of the necessary bolts to remove that sweater basket. Now that our seat back brackets are removed, we can go ahead and remove and bumper. So now that your bumper is removed, we can go ahead and start by installing our new front seat back brackets. Now that our front seat back brackets are loosely installed, our next step is to install our vertical supports. It's always easier to install these seat kits with two people. However, if you're installing this by yourself, there's a little trick to help get you these vertical supports installed properly. So on the cart itself, I like to prop the vertical supports up on the brackets that they're going to be mounted to. And then I leave the hardware in the bumper and I put my two new spacers that are in your hardware pack onto the bolts first. And then with the vertical supports resting on the cart, I'll go ahead and thread those bolts through the holes and put the nuts on the opposite side. Now that our vertical supports are installed, we can go ahead and install our flip frame. But before we do that, we gotta make sure that we install our flip frame support bracket along with the flip frame. Now 
And now with our flip frame installed, we can go ahead and install our foot plate. Now that our foot plate is loosely attached, we can go ahead and install our handrails and our horizontal support. So when you're installing the upper bolt on your handrail, you are going to need to put in the spacer in between the handrail and the horizontal support. And now before we attach our foot plate, we're gonna go ahead and do the other handrail. So now that our handrails and our horizontal support are installed, our next step is to install our new seat back cushion. But before we do that, we need to attach the brackets to the cushion before we install it on the horizontal bar. So when you're installing the brackets onto the new seat back cushion, you want to make sure that the bend in the bracket faces the bottom of the cushion. I'm just going to set them on the cushion just like that, and then you're going to take your screw with a lock washer and a flat washer on it and attach it. Once both brackets are attached to the seat cushion, we can go ahead and install it on the horizontal support. Now that our new seat back cushion is installed, we can go ahead and install our seat bottom cushion. So these seat cushions are super simple to install, so you're just going to slide the seat around until you feel it fall into place, just like that. And then once it does, you can lift up the flip frame and push the cushion down. That'll lock it into place. And once it's locked into place, you're going to take your handle and install it with the supplied hardware. So now that our seat bottom cushion is installed, we can run back through the entire kit and tighten everything down. Also, make sure that you reinstall your access panel at this time. So now that everything is tightened down, our next step is to install our top struts. Now, like I mentioned before, for our application, we are going to be installing part number TOP-0105. So in order to make those work, we need to go ahead and clamp those into place on the horizontal bar. And then we'll drill the bottom hole and install the hardware and tighten it down to help hold the top strut into place. Once that's done, we can go ahead and drill the second hole and again, install the hardware and tighten it down. And then we'll repeat the same process on the other side of the cart. So when we're drilling this bottom hole, we are going to have to drill in between the two holes that are already existing, just because this lower hole is a little bit too low to actually go through the top strut. So we're gonna drill about a half inch to an inch higher up, and then we'll drill through both struts. Now that our top struts are bolted to the seat kit, we can go ahead and attach them to the actual top of the cart. Now 
Once that's done, we can go ahead and reinstall our OE seat back cushions. Once those seatback cushions are installed, that's going to complete the installation for part number SEAT-421 on our old-style Club Car DS. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.